How much do you trust artificial intelligence? According to professors at Johns Hopkins, some patients with medical questions are consulting with chat GPT before consulting their own doctor. And while it may be more convenient, some AI experts are sounding the alarm about using it to diagnose yourself. But as Rick Ritter explains, there might be a better way to use AI in a medical setting. Robot doctors aren't just future fantasy anymore. Patients with problems ditching the office visit now and popping open an AI chatbot instead. So we've all seen ChatGPT and tried it out, and it really seems to have amazing abilities. That's Dr. Mark Dredzi from Johns Hopkins University. He is one of the minds behind a recent study that compared medical answers from actual physicians to answers generated by ChatGPT. And we know that people are interacting with it and using it for health and medical questions. Uh, and we wanted to test out how useful this would be as a tool within the medical setting. And the results, pretty surprising. Not only did ChatGPT do very well in that our licensed medical professionals said that the answers were good, but that they were actually rated more favorably than the answers from doctors. Dr. Dredzi says the most striking part of this study was the detail chat GPT was able to put in its answers. The study showed that doctors actually favored responses from AI over the responses from human physicians. I think the key here is not that it's better than doctors, but that it has the time to come up with answers. It's not that doctors don't know this information, it's, it's a lot of work to that, for them to write it out with that level of detail. While these results sound promising, not everyone sees it that way. You can give it a prompt and it will give you something back that's extremely convincing. It sounds like it's right and it's completely wrong. Matt Hollingsworth, the CEO and co-founder of Carta Healthcare, says ChatGPT is great for summarizing complicated concepts and being creative. But it has no measure about whether it's correct or not. And that's a big deal in a healthcare setting. His biggest worry about the AI chatbot for healthcare questions, it's accuracy. The GPT's job is to convince you that it's right and it, that's what it'll do. So it's... Um, you should be careful. Hollingsworth does caution against using AI to diagnose yourself without talking to your doctor. The model that we see here is not that we replace doctors with this technology, but that AI can be used to help doctors do a better job. It'll give them more time. It'll let them spend more time with us. It will help them be better written communicators, which is awesome. Uh, there, there are a lot of upsides for it. And of course, the bottom line. Just because ChatGPT gave good answers does not mean we should rely on it for medical advice. It's always important to check with your doctor. Absolutely. There are oh, just too sure. many factors at play <laughs> to just trust that. Absolutely. Yeah.